What is up my galaxy gamers, we'll be back again and we are back with Spyro 1 Take 2 or Spyro Reignited Trilogy Take 2 Whatever you want to call it, it's Spyro Take 2 Anyway, um, so you may remember last episode we didn't get the chance to travel to the... Um, it's not, is it Dreamweavers? Yeah, it is Dreamweavers We didn't get the chance to travel to the Dreamweavers land because I hadn't made the required amount of progress so I went back through the world and I've got us a little bit more progress. Still haven't 100%ed all the levels, um, but the ones that I have done are 100%. I, I don't know, the thing is I can't just go in a level, get the necessary things and leave. I have to 100% the entire thing even if it's not necessary because it just looks weird having, like, I don't know, a 29% next to a... 100% or whatever. I, I, I prefer it having 100% so yeah anyway we're going to run over to the balloonist and uh, get him to transport to the next world. And we're not going to die trying to Hopefully. What was our death count up to? I can't remember. I think we didn't die as much in treetops as I thought we would which is always a good thing. Um I know we're on less than 10 deaths, but more than 5. I'd have to go back and count, but... I don't know. Anyway, come on. Uh, pray. Oh, I feel much better now that so many dreamweavers world. Are you ready to go? Hell yeah, I am. Let's ride. Yeah, also, if you guys don't know, he's just uploaded. Shakespeare's back. Dude, we missed you. Well, yeah. Uh, I missed you. I'll say it straight up. I missed you, dude. Um, it hasn't been the same without you, so glad to have you back. Anyway, back to Spyro. We're the host is peeking out to say, Kilu. You know, I don't remember the balloon things taking so long. Like, th th this is like measuring up to Crash Team Racing standards of loading screens. <laughs> there we go. We are now in the Dreamweavers. Let's go! Oh crap, I should be careful with that. Ah, it's okay. So as far as tips go for this world, um, I don't know, I'll, I'll, it'll probably come to me as I'm playing through, oh jeez, don't do that, that's a stupid thing to do. <laughs> yeah, these guys, you want to hit them when they're tiny, because otherwise, yeah. Um, hang on. So the guys in metal need to hit them when they're tiny. These guys, however, the flying guys, you can just play them. It's not an issue at all. Um, yeah, these guys I wouldn't charge right into immediately because you've got to make sure they're small before you go doing anything like that. What is going on? Right, there we go. Anyway, we'll see if we can get any double achievements in this world. I have no idea if we will, but we'll find out. As you guys remember, um, my shared account with my siblings, we can't get back into it because we've lost, like, we don't know whose email it's connected to. Um, it's certainly not my email because I've only got two and I've tried both, so, yeah, I don't know what to do about that. Let's not charge off the extra level, that would be a really stupid thing to add, add to our dad account. Welcome to the Dreamweavers, so young one. Wings. While chasing Nasty's minions in this world, you must expect the unexpected and prepare for what is not there. <laughs> cool. Anyway, um... I don't know what order we're gonna do them. I guess we'll just do them in order that we see them. Because 
I know a lot of these ones are like these ones aren't impossible obviously but they're definitely a bit more difficult and very much. Um Oh here we go, double achievement time guys. Fool's errands. Charge through three armoured fools in a row. Nice. Just waiting for it to pop up on the laptop, give it a second. No? Alright. I'm tired of renting balloons. The fairies get all the good jobs. Come see me again when you've recovered 6,000 stolen treasure. Who's not asking for much, is he? There we go! <laughs> Double achievement. Oh yeah, we've got Jacques in this one, um, which I think there's a skill point. Oh yeah, I haven't done blowhard, so... Okay, so secret room, blue wizard hat, destroy hidden stump, and perfect, which... Easy. We can do that. No problem. Oh, I need myself off the level. Yeah. yeah, you're getting, you don't, basically all the enemies are getting shot out from up there because someone's got like a, I don't know, it just makes the <laughs> characters bigger, so, yeah. there is a dude standing up there. Yeah, anyway, what I was saying about my account, um, the shared account. Uh, basically, because I haven't got as many. Because on the other account I had all the achievements, now that I'm having to start from scratch, I keep unlocking new achievements. Oh my god, you're kidding me. Like that. There we go. And you can just leave them like that, dude. Yeah. I want to go over here first. Kuma? Kuma? Sparrow, nicely done. I'll be done when I've toasted that nasty nork. Cool. Anyway, um, but yeah, so I'm having, I'm unlocking all these new achievements even though I've got them before. Oh, I didn't. I'm gonna have to come back around now. Right. Okay, so I Hi. I'm trying to remember which one. There's one level with a supercharge that I hate doing. Because it's like a na No! Okay, it's not a big deal if we fall in water because I can jump out. We just want to try and avoid jumping in the water. Hey dude. I'm just hovering now on top of the water. Wait, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I should be saying water. This world are invincible, but that does not mean they shouldn't be attacked. Sounds all right to me. Yeah, a lot of the dream movies dragons, like they have the coolest wings. I, I don't even like. Yeah. Oh, I know there's one dragon in one of the earlier worlds that has like a map um, printed on his wing. Absolute disaster. Right. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go deal with those two guys and then we'll deal with the one guy after we've done all the sneaky stuff. Thank you. Oh right, okay. This area I will run anything off. So these two raise these two platforms. However, you have to time it just right. It's better to flame both of them at the same time and jump on this one. Do not bother jumping straight onto that one because then you have to like make extra time from going from there to there to there. So it's better to flame both of them and then jump on this one so you can go straight to this one. I will demonstrate in a minute. Probably really badly, but uh, we're about to find out. Oh yeah, also guys, I don't know if you remember. I can walk through a wall. No, it's, it's a skill point. Um, yeah, you gotta find an invisible wall. 
walk through it to put the fairy sparkles. I assume that's what they are. Anyway, oh, that's the Sorin thing. Right, okay, so just like that. You do not want to go from there to there to here because that just takes longer and then they have more of a chance to be alarm themselves, I guess. Also, fireworks thing flame it and fly over here, okay? Don't try staying on the same platform because there is a small platform and there is a large blast right here, so you don't want to be yeeted off the side. I mean, you could potentially make it down to this area, but then you've got to go through the whole thing of flaming those two and getting up. Back to where we are. Ugh, icy flight. You are one of the nasty ones. Yeah, I haven't done any of the flight levels, I don't think. Go down here to the area. Oh right, we want to get that solitary, the solitary dude that I forgot to use the shrimp crayon. Oh, and there's two sapphires. That's annoying. And a ruby. How many gems did I miss? Oh my god. All right, we can go back for it. I don't know. I don't remember seeing that. Shows how much attention I pay, huh? <laughs> You're about to get a headshot, dude. May you rip him rest. Let's go get those two sapphires. We'll grab the ruby and then we'll go into our first level because we are. Oh my god, we are 11 minutes in. Wow. by now we would have got into one of the levels. I don't know, I guess it's because like when I had to start over from the artisan's world, like because I've the first two worlds I know what I'm doing and I was just charging around like a maniac just you know, getting it done because it's like yes I know how to do this. I know what's going on. Oh there it is. We'll just go to Lucky Castle, it's the nearest one. <clears throat> I'm not going to do them in any specific order. So, yeah. Treasure is stacking. Okay. What did I miss? I swear, if it's like two emeralds or something like that, an emerald and a ruby. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. That is a very annoying number to look at. Although the middle of it is very nice. <laughs> Oh god. Clearly I've been on YouTube for too long because I'm making dirty jokes. It's nearly been three years, guys. <laughs> oh, this one's okay. There is a stupid supercharge in it. No, hang on. I want to see. Right, what am I missing? Yeah, okay. Right, fair enough. Well, we can go back and fix it. You guys wait till they fly down. You don't want to get close to them when they're going down because like if they're up here they can hit you and they will hit you. Oh hey! And I would say those weird chicken dragon things are relatively harmless which they are but if you're in close proximity of them they will try and explain you. So, I don't really know how to explain it. Like, they are on a set pattern, like everything else. So they don't, like, fly towards you and attack you or anything like that. But, yeah. Also, we got to rescue the fairies, guys. Please remember, hey. See, you can get pretty close to them and they don't really do much. They do. Oh right, this is the level with the hidden stump. Uh, it's up in that area. I don't know if you can see it. We'll, we'll be able to get a close look in a minute, but don't worry. Three fairies. And we'll make 
sure we have every single um, gem before we leave the level because I do not want to. Oh god, no. Okay, be careful with this one, guys. It's best to like fight around and then deal with him. So while he's like that, when he's there, it's fine. But when he's not, like when he's higher up, you stay away from him because he'll hit you otherwise. Here and rescue. Oh, this is the dragon with the fairy flash. And I'm pre pretty sure he has plushy wings as well. You got her. Yes, he does. Fairies are always on your side, Spyro. Thank you. I don't know why I'm thanking you. Well, I guess it's just because you're the only dragon who hasn't said thank you for releasing me. Well, you guys know what I mean. There are a lot of dragons that say thank you for. Yeah, you didn't see that one coming. Oh yeah, and this is the only level that has a really, um, one of these chests in it. I'm pretty sure, because I, I don't think I've ever seen one outside this level. So it's still really good. I'm sorry, there's a key. Why are you this key? I don't know. I don't know. I don't remember that being a key. Yeah. Oh, I don't remember where the key is. So. Exploration, guys. We're gonna go find it. And not land in that tiny, tiny pathetic pool of water as we do so. Oh, we can get a satisfying moment in here, guys. He will hit you, so be careful of that. I don't blame them, I most likely will screw up real nicely. Right, now this one, you can glide around like that, and it is satisfying to get them all in one. It's not impossible, but it is a little bit difficult. As you just saw, I didn't manage to do it there. I am aggressively clicking on my controller. Oh, he's behind us. That was a dangerous situation to have put myself in just then. Right, so I say we go when... Okay, Boom, there we go. Problem solved. Right, uh, we're going to come back to this area because... Uh, really? Unbelievable. Anyway, we're going to come back to this area because I want to clear out the rest of the level before we go supercharging anywhere. Um, just to be on the safe side so I'm not dealing with any more annoying enemies. Anyway, who's this dragon? Faruti. Faruti? Thank you for releasing me. You're welcome, dude. You have no idea how many Quite frankly, neither do I. Poor fairy's 
crap. And then there's just the safe station fairy. She's she's stuck there. Like she has no freedom. doesn't help with like security breach either. If you guys haven't seen that, I've, I've just started playing it. We're currently at the daycare, so we haven't got that far. Are you serious? Did I actually miss that? Right, we'll go back around for that later. I'm not dealing with that right now. Dear me. terrifying to no apparent reason. No, we have to go back this way anyway, because there's no other way to get, like, back up to the supercharge. Okay, right. Good stuff. Uh, let's -a go. Right, I'm just trying to remember. I want the one with the fairies. Thank you. Oh, hi. <gasps> this is the one with the, who's got, like, the sheep slippers. You say no, he doesn't. Oh, Never mind. Spyro. Thanks. Supercharge will get you to new places here in Lofty Castle, too. See where it takes you. Cool. I cannot tell you how many times I did this level. Oh, there's the key. Oh, yeah, there's a chest we gotta go get. I, yeah, I cannot tell you how many times I did not realize that that was behind. Because I never bothered to turn the camera and look. I just admitted defeat. Right, now let's see if I can do this. We're about to find out because this is moved so quickly and you literally, you have to jump at the right time and then glide over. Right, okay, we've definitely got everything up here so we don't have to worry about that. And key. Boom! Four Hundo Gems. And we're going to use Fast Travel. No, we're not. Think <laughs> on. We use Fast Travel, get back to Dreamweavers, and try and figure out where that solitary few gems are. Those solitary few gems? Yes. Oh, this is going to be a fun one, though. Uh, what I'll do is I'll pause the video, and then like it will cut to me finding the gems and moving on to the next level because otherwise you guys are just going to be watching me go through the Dreamweavers all over again just looking for like what could be two or three gems so yeah I'm gonna pause now well that didn't take long they were right here the whole time like are you serious right we're gonna go to Dark Passage next I think this is the one that I like because it's not too complicated also um I might have accidentally fallen off trying to glide over to where that portal was. Um, 
Yep, so that's another death to the death count. Oh my god. I really think I could probably do a Spyro playthrough where I don't die at all. Like, I really think I could, but I would need to be severely focused for it, and I want to have fun playing my games. Being seriously focused isn't fun. <laughs> oh yeah, this is the one with the demon dogs and the little turtles. The turn snakes. Sorry, doggos and turtles, but uh, you're gonna try and kill me if I don't kill you. Yeah, these guys don't do jack shit. They're, they're the ones that like make the demon dogs all the angry turtles. So you want to deal with that, right? I'm sorry, doggos. Oh crap! Yeah. Hi. Hey. Oh, harmless. I should point out that when they're small, the dogs and the turtles a two and one. The dogs and the turtles will still attack you um, with fireballs and just like charging at you. I think the dogs bite you if you get too close to them or something like that. I'm, I'm not sure because I don't. I don't have to see it. The enemies here can be quite frightening. But you should watch the fool. I'd rather flame the fools. They're the now ones with the little lanterns. So, the, the fools are the ones that can't hurt you, but the other enemies against you. Like, see? Like, watch. If he... Like, I'm within range. No? You're not gonna do it? Because I'm right here? Hey, little stream dude. Um, I don't want to headbutt you because there's no need to. I kind of want to... I mean, I know you respawn if I exit the area, but I ain't doing that. Okay. Yeah. In the original game, these things were a lot more terrifying to look at, because, like... I guess it's just because they were more polygonal and a lot of games with like a lot of PlayStation 1 games with the older graphics do look a lot more scary, I guess. Because you can't tell what things are sometimes. Anyway, it's easy. Thank you for releasing me. You're welcome. Say it's okay to wait. Uh, oh my god. I don't know where I was going with that. I, I gotta say, in the real world, not many people know this. I am slightly scared of dogs. I'm not terrified of them. I can be around the old flipping doodah kitty. I'm gonna guess we're at about nine deaths now. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm not, like, I can be in the same room with a dog, but I'm very, like, reluctant to, like, give them head pats and that kind of stuff because, like, I'm kind of afraid that they might nibble on me, which is really, it's really stupid. Wait, what is this? Bad doggies. Oh my god, we've got three. <laughs> three double achievements, guys. <laughs> okay, you're cute, but you are freaking. Oh my god, you are joking right now. Alright, can we just. Can we do I'm gonna go back and get those mushrooms because uh, this is not worth the rest. Yeah. I'm okay with dogs, but I'd rather not be left alone with them at all. Hey, grab that extra life! Did you grab that extra life? Okay. It's 
box just didn't want to spark for a minute there. I don't want to headbutt you. I'm just trying to like get to the next area. Section. Whatever you want to call it. Right. Now then. This one's a firework yet, so we don't have to worry too much about that. Yeah, I. There's no way I'm charging with you. Dude, I think he spotted me just then. <laughs> Well then, it wouldn't be the first time something's tried to eat us and we've killed them from the inside out in this game. You guys remember in um, Peacemakers that, uh, oh, I don't remember which level it was. The ones with the shaky tree things. I don't know what to call them. But uh, yeah, that sure was something. The car. And... Oh, he's the one with the shaky I think you just might be the dragon to defeat Nasty Lork. That's me, all right. I'm the only dragon who's putting in effort to defeat Nasty Lork. Right, now, if I remember correctly, there's a lower area we have to get to. Yes, there we go. Right, so... That's how I do it. If you just try glide over there, you'll just smack a wall and then game over, pretty much. Also, there aren't any um, falls over here, so you only have to worry. Like, you don't have to worry about waiting for these guys to go from their small form to their large form. You don't have to worry about them growing in size, because they stay small. And cute. I don't think he appreciated me calling him cute, but hey, we'll go with that. Oh, one sapphire. One sapphire. Okay, I'll take it. Right, let's get to the high ground. Wait. I'm going for a fight in a minute. Okay, let's <laughs> not hold the charge button down. I'm not enthusiastic to get through the level. Huh. Um. Wait, what? What? Why do I? I don't know where to go. Um, hang on a second. Give me, give me a hot second, guys. Hang on. Oh wait, no, I know where we gotta go. Oh, there's another dragon up there. Right. So you want to aim for those gems there. Do not fly straight towards the dogs because they will attack. That was close. Also, satisfying moment part two. Okay, hi. Hey, hey, you two are demonic. Ow. I don't care how cute you are. You That does not give you the right to flame me like that. Oh yeah, there's a lot of like tiny enemies just scattered around this area, which I don't mind. It's a bit easier to deal with. But, uh, oh, I will take this. I'm sorry, little mushroom dude. Your sacrifice will not be in vain, I promise. Oh, can't play my dude. Why did I try and do that? I guess it's just instinct to try and attack the enemy. Like, So I can't do it if I'm charging around like a nut job. Right, okay. What? Yep. Stuck with that ball, dude. Para, hello. Thanks, Spyro. I'd love to help you catch Nasty, but I'd really hate to be trapped in Crystal again. Don't oh, worry. Shadowing. The only one that's gonna be trapped is him. I'm just gonna say it now, uh, it's not really a spoiler, this game is like a few years old. Um, but uh, yeah. Two and one. Um, yeah, some of the dragons do become. like, they do get caught in crystal again. And uh, it makes me wonder why the hell and how the heck they did that. But uh, yep. I don't know what the purpose of this area is, but okay. There's nothing there. Okay, yeah, so they do chase you. 
but I don't know what they actually like what their attack actually is. And you are so nasty. Thank you for releasing me. You're welcome. Okay, right, this one's a fun one. Long distance enemies. They sure are a thing to be dealt with. A force to be left with. Oh, never mind. Okay, I think we've got everything here. Yep. Yeah, it's fine. We can always go back, I'd just rather not. Firework time! Bam. Wow, that was actually quite satisfying to look at just then. Yes, right, and fast travel! Yes, let's go! This does put me right at the back of the beginning of the Dreamweavers, but still. I'm trying to remember which level it was with the supercharge that I don't like because that's also the one with the knights. I was thinking, hang on, who am we need to do Jacques? We've got the three levels done. We're not doing the flight level. Okay. I'm just trying to remember. I think we'll go fight Jacques first because <laughs> sad moment. But the boss is a lot easier than the level that I'm trying to figure out what it's called. Figure out the name of, yeah. You guys know what I mean. Alrighty then, let's go. Not playing Mario, we're playing Spyro. Okay, let's go. So we've just been in Dark Passage. Right, Lofty Castle. Okay, yeah, so we'll go do Jacques first, see if we can get anything. I have shown my strategy with Jacques before, I think I did it in that uh, video where I was trying to defeat all the bosses without taking any damage. I did okay at that. I didn't die to any of the bosses or in any of the levels with the bosses, so... Yeah. <laughs> Pretty skybox. Anyway, so we've got these clawed creepy dudes. Um, the charger, and then the I think they're called candies. These go ah! <gasps> okay, coming to you. Okay, as long as we don't take any damage from the jacks, that will be fine. They look at you and they just shake that so creepy. Oh. Like that in my I'll show you how to sort that, um, get that platform down in a minute. Um, but we're probably going to deal with Jax first. This is another level that has a satisfying moment. I should do like a clip compilation of like most satisfying moments in Spyro. Especially seeing as I'm able to record it in a lot better quality now. You know what, let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> That's for your friend hitting me earlier, you disrespectful piece of garbage. Thank you. 
witch cackle at me. Nice try. wait for it to come back down, that's very annoying. So let's not charge off platforms like that. Oh yes! Okay, so Jax is down there. We'll get him in a minute. First off, I want to deal with you guys. Not very successfully, I might add. Right, if we do that. Now, when gliding from here to here, you can just go from here, but I would definitely recommend going from here because it's a higher point, which means you have less chance of like messing up and falling. Um, right, where are you here? Come here, come here. That's it. Cameras are great in video games sometimes. There we go. So. Now that that's been done, uh, if we just go, oh, I hate this bit. Ooh, okay. Right, much better. Now then, we are missing a solitary ruby somewhere, I think. Right, we'll go deal with the treasure test, Jacques, and then... Dude, get your rest back here, let me flame you. But then because you bounce back and that's a bit annoying when you've got to get on top of a tiny platform. Ooh, purple gem. Nice. Wait. I know there's a dragon down here as well. Let's see. What is it? Revelio. Revelo. Oh, he's Any nice advice thing. before this battle? Advice? Hmm. A wise dragon once told me aim high in life. But watch out for flying boxes. Can do. Uh, huh? <laughs> uh, don't worry, Spyro. I know what it means. So what you want to do with Jax, you need to keep on top of him. If you give him a chance to get away, that gives him a chance, you son of a biscuit, to throw boxes at you, you piece of ass. Looks like we're coming back to Jax. This is what happens when I get too cocky. Oh yeah, if you flame him in time then you can do that. Right, so it looks like we're doing Metalhead and Jax Perfect in the flight level video. Whoop. Bye. Thank you, I will gladly take that. We will glide over to here and here. Yeah, don't worry, we'll come back for Jax next time, so he'll be in episode 6. And, yeah. Episode 6, with three of the flight levels and Metal Head. Because wanna wanna try and get all the skill points for this one. Right, now what was that? Oh yes, the other section. So what you wanna do Notice how this guy is here. There's no floating platforms like lev there's no platforms like that over there around him. So this guy, you've got to flame him, charge around here, flame him, get up here, and then you just immediately go onto this platform. Do not try and glide over before it has raised because you will fall and die. Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. Take care. I shall. I will not get hit in the head with any more stupid boxes. Or so that. <laughs> Let's do this area first. This is right. If I do this right, which I, I'm gonna try. Oh, I messed it up. That's really annoying. I have done it before. 
four. You can do it all in one go. You have to turn just right. And if you land on the platform, then... Yep. Have fun with that. Thank you. This is the part where things get a little bit scary, because you got to do this. And he is on a very short timer. Like, I am not even... It's not even funny. <laughs> like, you gotta be quick with that one, otherwise you're screwed. Okay, have I ducked up already? Oh no, I haven't. Right, okay, here we go, guys. Remember, high ground, and jump at the top of your vibe. Fingers crossed that you make it. <gasps> okay. Okay. That's annoying. That is really annoying. I thought we'd actually made it for a second. And that makes 10 deaths. Crap. Right, you know what? Hang on. Have they spawned back in? Right, guys, let's see if we can do it this time. Yes, there we go. No! Myself. Why? Right, you. Come in. No! <laughs> ah! It's because I'm trying to be too quick. I, I just need to keep a level head and just stay calm. Oh my god. This is ridiculous. See, the thing is, it's because I'm trying to, like, not speedrun it because I want to take things carefully. Oh my god, man. Right, come here. Right. It's because I'm panicking, because I don't do well when things are on timers in video games. Like, it's not... It's, it's not good. Also, like, flashback to the new Super Mario Bros. side-scrolling levels. That was, like, the worst. Right. Don't you dare. Do the little grabby thing. I would say we could try freeing one, but I think you have to be very precise with that. Oh wait, Jax will have spawned back in. Let's see if we can get a perfect right now. We might as well try. Right. High ground time. I'm... <laughs> Little... <clears throat> right, okay, this one's gonna be a fun one. Jackson's going Get out of my way. Thank you. I think Jack might have spawned back in, but let's see. Let's have a look. There he is! Hey! Right, let's see if I can do this properly this time. Come on, let me get the high ground. Oh dear. we will still be able to get perfect. Uh, let's see what happens. Because we didn't take damage from Jacques, but I did do a stupid thing there. We might be able to get perfect, but I have no bloody clue. Yeah. <laughs> there we go, we did it. Right, we don't have to go back for that one then. Alright, let's just take the return portal home. Let's go. Let's just go home. Go home. Get Sparks a little bit of life. And go do that horrible level. And then we can end the video. And actually we'll be able to travel to Nasty's world. Because we have over 6,000 gems. Um. I kind of need the toilet, not gonna lie. I'm just gonna pause the video for a second. And then, yeah, we'll go from there. Alrighty, we are back, and I did 
let the door slam a little bit there. Whoops. Sneak oh wait, we want to go in the level we want is that way. It's fine, we've already got the gems from those guys. Right. The, the last, most pain in the ass level. Right there. Can we just. Can you not? Thank you. Kind of need mushrooms for this one. Oh well, extra life, can't complain. Oh, okay. Right, come on to towers. I'm not sure to pick one of you. Get, get, get out my way. I'm just trying to go through the level. Okay. Final level. Yeah, I don't really know what to... Mm. This this has got to be next to treetops, one of the most annoying levels ever. Ugh. It's fine though. We can do it. We got this. Nope. Bit of slow motion there. All right. I don't know if I recorded it, but the first time I did this level, when we first got reignited, I didn't realise, like, that you could open the door. Like, I didn't even realise. My brain could not comprehend. Like, yeah. Anyway, so, you do not want to go trying to attack these guys because they are metal and they are big enemies. And there is no ice around for them to flip on, you little... Yeah, you're practically harmless. Yeah, there's also these ones that follow you, which are annoying to deal with. But um, there is a solution. This third door is a little purple fairy. And she gives you kisses and you get a uh, glowy spyro, super flame, whatever you want to call him. He's cool. One shot everything, which is great. Where are you more careful? Oh well, I can see mushrooms up there. We're fine. Oh, also there is. A <laughs> okay, there is a um. Wait, we didn't destroy the hidden tree stump. Oh my god, no! I'm gonna have to go back and do that. There is a pile of armor at the beginning of the level. Um, yeah, that one's the only harmless one because there's no wizard to power it up, so yeah, you don't have to worry about that one. Right. Got to be careful with that portal as well. I should probably like say that in advance, but hey, oh, 46. Yes, let's go. Right, okay. You don't want to go near these guys. Just charge past them. Aim for this guy here. Okay, see you. <laughs> Unbelievable! The audacity! Anyway, Soko. No. Hey, Spyro. All dragons magic. know there's magic in a fairy's kiss. See what it can do to your power of flame. Oh, I just realized. No, wait, we don't have to. Do it. Fine. Ow! Bomb in it. Oh, I can charge you. Why? Why, man? Okay, uh, I think my phone just went off. I can't be doing this right now. I'm trying to get through haunted towers. Just check to make sure it's something important. Oh, okay, it's just a family group chat because Connie and Noah saying where they are. <gasps> no! <laughs> I'm not 
doing this on purpose, guys, I swear. Oh, man. I Clearly, I'm just out of my game today. I'm just not with the game. Oh, well, at least we don't have to deal with those enemies. We just gotta worry about this area over here. Right, so the wizard hat is up here somewhere. So I will show you how to get that in a bit. Um, so yeah, we gotta go back to the storm. Tree storm! Hang on, what? Right, hang on. Skill, there. Skill points, right. Haunted towers. Okay, yeah. Wait, so what haven't we done? We haven't done blow hard because the level I had to restart. Okay, it's fine. Anyway, fairy kisses, please. Thank you. Right, you want to focus on the metal armor, guys, before you focus on anything else. Oh, and the chest here. Well, never mind. We can't. The the thing does last long enough for you to get back to here uh, with the super flame, so don't worry about it. Um, you just got to go back to the ferry. Yeah, there are so many areas in this specific level I dislike. In fact, it's just one specific area. You got to supercharge round to there, and then you've got to like speed your way up the stairs before the thing becomes dead. Oh, I didn't mean to hit the little mushrooms. Ah, oh, they're fine, probably. I'm sure they're having fun in mushroom town, mushroom hill, whatever. It's not like I was really so dumb. Right, okay, so. Blue with a hat, you just come up here. And do a little glide. Okay, right, now, remember, there is a fireworks chest there, I need to get that. You, if you do fail to get the thing, hang on, let me show you. You can flame it like that, I think. I don't know if we got it. We did, right, okay. Yeah. You don't have to make it on top of there, you just gotta flame it before you fall down onto this little platform area here. So, yeah. It's not a big deal if you don't manage to like actually land there. I think this next area is probably the most calm area of the entire level, she says, however she's not too sure about that. Okay, dragon, Gitala. Hold your horns, here comes Spyro. Patience, little one. You'll soon have the opportunity to battle the one who matters most. Nasty Nork. Okay. <laughs> uh, right. Ah, this door you want to go through because there is a fairy and a harmless little bongo. Where'd you go? Oh, you don't move. Oh, I thought you were gonna fly into, like, the middle of the room, but I guess not. Oh, yeah, this is how you can do it. Look at that. Look at that. So much treasure! <laughs> okay, I'm definitely making a satisfying spiral completion. Yes. <laughs> I suppose what we could do. Actually, you know what? I'd really rather not do that. We're not doing that. I was gonna suggest going up to that area, like the supercharged, the place you gotta supercharge up to, and then coming back with the super flame to defeat the rest of the enemies, which is smart, but knowing me, I would muck it up. So we're not gonna do that. Eh, you missed me. And there's a fairy right here anyway, so she's in close proximity of everything, but fine. Don't worry about the gem, you can go back and forth. You missed me. Okay. Oh, 
Okay, cool. Yeah, so when you have the super flame, just focus on like flaming everything and then go back to the gems. Because otherwise you're going to have to go back and watch that little cutscene of the fairy giving you a kiss. Even though it's like two seconds long. It's not a big deal. It's just something that can save you time. Alrighty, now let's see if I can do this. Because I have done this before first try, but seeing as I appear to be a little bit rusty today, Oh my god, you're kidding me! I knew that was gonna happen. Oh wait, we have to go... Okay, this kind of worked out. Kind of. I need to... Oh, right. I need to super flame for that. Right, it's okay. It's okay. There's just a chest that doesn't have a key to it, and I'm just trying to remember how you deal with it, but it's super flame. Yes! Nice. Right, now this is the annoying area. You want to make sure you stay here, like get the fairy to zap you after Copana. Copana. You've become a master of the supercharge. Great work. You're welcome. Hope you're enjoying your tea, dude. Very British dragon right there. I might just make you the thumbnail. Right, this, this is the annoying area. Because you got a supercharge up here. Like, you gotta supercharge to get here, and then you have to be as speedy as heck getting past all these guys to get up there before a blockade is created, meaning that you won't be able to get to the fairy, but you really need to get to her. So, yeah, you can reset these guys. Um, oh my god, oh god, I'm doing a little too slow here. Oh my god, oh my god. No, 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 no. Okay, okay, we got it, we got it, right, we did it. Jeez. All that to rescue this once in a lifetime unique little fairy right here. And now we have permanent super flame. So I guess it is worth coming up here to rescue her because, yeah. That guy, once that guy is there, you have to wait and reset it. Um, to reset it, there you just go back around the corner to where Capano is. Um, yeah, I wouldn't glide over to that. I would just do, do this down here. Yeah. Also, if you're up here, do not jump back down there if like you haven't got all the stuff up here because you need you'll need to supercharge back up to get here, which is not fun. Right, that was just disrespectful. Oh my god, we are going crazy with the achievements today, guys. Like. This is nuts. All right then. Um... Oh wait, hang on. Okay, so now that you've got everything in here, now you can jump down here. I don't remember what we need. Oh, yes. Uh, nope. And here. Aha. Oh, I accidentally got two of you. Five gems. Oh my god, really? There have just been points today where I have been so with the game and just points where I'm not. Like, it is, this has been a very mixed episode, I gotta say. Oh, uh, you know what? I feel like I'm like, I might come in this episode. I'm not sure. We'll see. We will see. I do like premiering my videos because then I get to interact with you guys in live chat even though I'm not actually interacting with you like a proper live stream. But uh, we all know what happened last time I tried to live stream. I got way too anxious and uh, just yeah, cut the live stream so. Mm. Anyway, it's time to head off to Nasty's world.
Boy, oh boy, is it gonna be a fun one. Oh, there's more achievements we can get in Nasty's world. I know there's one. You know what? We'll save it for the next episode. Hi, dude. You, I don't know why I'm going that way. I need to go this way so I can get back to the beginning. Away we go. I would try aim for over here because those guys are in tall beam mode, so going straight for them isn't a good idea, to be honest. I mean, these guys, yes. Those metal guys there, not so much. Okay, let's do it again. Let's go. Take me to Nasty's well. Well done, Spyro. I hope you know what lies in store for you. Nasty's world is not the friendliest place you'll ever find. Are you ready to go? To Nasty's world. And on that cheerful note, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you have, then be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. Um, we're currently uh, 140 subscribers last time I checked which is nuts that's so 60 away from 200 let's make it happen I want to see if by May the 4th next year maybe even before that we can get to 200 subscribers I, I think we can do it guys I believe in you what the heck was that I heard noise that I did not like Okay, yeah, so remember, like, subscribe, ring the notification bell, and if you're hyped for Nasty's World, then uh, be sure to tune in next episode. I think you've got to have that notification bell on to know when the next episode is uploaded, because I'm not very, I'm not very consistent with notifying on my Instagram, which hopefully will change next year. We'll find out though. Um, but yeah, anyway, until the next video, keep sparkling like stars in the galaxy. Bye!